Hi, welcome. I'm Mary and I hook books. I crochet things inspired by the books I read. And I walked in on one of my co-workers listening to an audiobook, Tender is the Flesh, and I started talking about it. He was like, oh my gosh, you've read this too? And we got started talking about how much we love Libby. And if you are not using Libby and your public library, please do so. The libraries need our support more than anything right now. And it's a great resource. In fact, last year, according to Storygraph, where I log all my reading, I read 135 books. 45 I purchased, which means the rest were all from the public library. And it is such an amazing resource. And I've never even, well, I went to my library to vote. But other than that, I do all my stuff online. So please support your local library. And he gave me some great recommendations. I'm going to see if I can trust those recommendations today. So the first recommendation that he gave me has kind of been on my radar for a while, but it got kind of mixed reviews. So that's Parasite by Mira Grant. And I'm down for some weird epidemiology. So let's give it a try. blanket looks like when it's all stitched together and I hope that the ends fairy will visit me sometime very soon because granny squares oh my goodness granny squares but I did really enjoy the book this is the kind of zombie I want the zombies again in the last decade or so have really gotten more sophisticated our zombie fiction has just gotten more interesting there are a few plot holes one specifically that i'm like you're genius scientists why didn't you think of this yourselves but other than that and the amount that you have to suspend your disbelief for zombie fiction 
I really enjoyed this book. I gave it a 4.5 and I have already reserved the next one. Symbiote, I believe is what it's called, from the library. It says it's a six week wait, but often I find that I get things much faster than the expected waiting time. So we'll see, I'm excited. The next book that he recommended to me was Damned. And I guess this is by the same person that wrote Fight Club. I can't remember how he pronounces his last name. But this one I'm a little, eh, it, it could be cool, it could be not, I don't know, we'll see. So, let's give it a go. get some of these references. If I got some of the references, maybe I would have enjoyed it a little more. I really did like this. I gave it a 3.75 and that is largely because teenage 13 year old girls are just obnoxious and that's a good writing. Like that he got the adolescent obnoxiousness but I still just didn't like it. Uh, but it was really fun. It was pretty much the way that my friend described it. Like this poor little rich girl ends up in hell and she wasn't very great on earth, but she's kind of crushing it as someone living in hell. So it was really fun. I enjoyed it. And here's our finished product of that little devil. His next recommendation is called Reality, and this is a book of short stories. I haven't heard of the author before, but he explained that it's kind of like ghost in the machine type stuff, so I'm definitely interested. So we shall see how this one goes. felt like watching a new season of Black Mirror. It is a short story collection, so some were better than others, but overall this was a really good solid short story collection. Kind of reminded me of some classic Twilight Zone, Outer Limits type stuff, so I really enjoyed it. My cover was not this, but the cover on Storygraph was, so... I made that little eyeball from the cover. The last book on the list for this week is Survivor, and I don't remember what this one is about. There have been too many things between then and now, so we're going in blind and hopefully we enjoy it.
Survivor is about the last survivor of a death cult. And I love the concept and a lot of it really spoke to me, but it has a very stream of consciousness writing style and voice that works really well for the character, but was kind of exhausting and a little bit too nihilistic. I do generally read for fun to escape all the craziness of life. So I liked it, but I didn't like it. So I gave it a 2.75. Overall, I would say that this project was pretty successful. I had some high fours and a three and an almost a three. So not too shabby. I think I can trust my coworker. And our survivor is telling his story from an airplane. So... He's, he's a little, I'm, I'm bad with symmetry, so he's a little uneven, but he's, he's cute and quirky, our little airplane buddy. So that was reading my coworker's suggestions, embracing the Libby app. Please embrace your local library. It is a wonderful resource and they need our support. If you'd like to support me financially, there's a buy me a coffee link. You can support me that way or just like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Remember, keep your shoulders back, head up, and breathe.